You're probably used to going to the store or going online to purchase anything your heart desires, but things aren't as easy for the people of North Korea. Due to sanctions by the United Nations, many companies have banned their products from being sold in the country. And on top of that, the nation's leader Kim Jong-un also has his own set of rules that prohibits many regular, everyday items from being sold. Keep watching to find out the real reason why buying a Christmas tree is prohibited. We guarantee you'll be shocked. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we'll be showing you 20 things you cannot buy in North Korea. Condoms Growing up in North Korea, many citizens don't even know what a condom is, how to use them, or that they even exist. Back in 1985, the United Nations provided family planning resources to the people of North Korea to help combat pregnancy and STDs. Eventually, the condoms they sent over ended up being sold on the country's black market. But since they were way too expensive for the average person to afford, and because most people had never even heard the word condom before, they weren't interested in purchasing them. These days, condoms are almost impossible to find in the country to the point where they're practically non-existent. Coca-Cola On a hot summer day, you probably don't even think twice about heading to the store to pick up a can or a bottle of Coca-Cola, right? Well, in North Korea, this is impossible. Coke might be a brand that's recognized across the globe, but the soda company doesn't operate North Korea because of the United Nations sanctions. However, although Coke doesn't do any business in the country, that hasn't stopped North Koreans from getting their hands on a counterfeit brand of the soda. Fake Coca-Cola is bottled in China and sneaks its way into the country's capital city. It's usually sold in upscale grocery stores and fancy restaurants, but we're pretty sure it doesn't taste anything like the real thing. A vacation Jetting off to South Korea or Japan is nothing but a dream for many North Koreans. The government prohibits them from leaving without getting permission. And for most people, they're not even allowed to travel around the country at all. The capital city is where the wealthiest, most elite North Koreans live, and outsiders aren't welcomed. Most citizens are barred from entering the capital city unless they have a home or do business there. Can you imagine living in a country where the travel restrictions are so strict you're not even allowed to take a much-needed vacation? Well, sadly, this is exactly what life is like for North Koreans. Magazines Everything that's printed and provided to the people is controlled by the government and its leader Kim Jong-un. This means picking up a Vogue magazine, flipping through the pages of GQ, or checking out the latest articles in Time magazine is nearly impossible for North Koreans. Instead, the country heavily monitors all of the information that goes in and out of the country. This is done in an attempt to keep citizens from being brainwashed by foreign media. If the magazine wasn't produced by the government, it's considered illegal and will be destroyed. Every single newspaper and magazine magazine that's available is used to help spread the country's propaganda and to keep citizens updated on their leaders' daily activities. Hair dye Like most things in North Korea, the way its citizens wear their hair is regulated by the government. It's rumored that North Korean men and women can choose from 15 different hairstyles that have been state approved by Kim Jong-un. Married women are instructed to keep their hair short, while the single ladies are allowed to have long curly locks. As for young men, they can't grow their hair any longer than 2 inches, but older gentlemen are allowed to get wild and crazy by growing their hair to a maximum length of a whopping 3 inches. As for dyeing their hair, a reporter shared the news that North Koreans can forget about it. Even something as simple as picking up a box of hair dye is prohibited in the country. McDonald's when you think of one of the most popular fast food chains in the world, you probably instantly think of McDonald's. Their burger joint has been around for decades, and it operates thousands of restaurants worldwide. But one place you won't be able to pick up a burger and fries is in North Korea. The fast food chain isn't allowed to do business in the country because of sanctions. Some may say North Koreans aren't missing out on much by not having the greasy food in its country. But don't you think it's unfair that due to their country's choices, they aren't even able to experience what a McDonald's Big Mac tastes? like Christmas tree. For those who celebrate the holiday, putting up a tree to celebrate Christmas is one of the most joyful times of the year. All of the pretty lights and decorations start to pop up on store shelves as the end of the year rolls around. But in North Korea, Christmas trees or any items pertaining to any religious holidays are banned and prohibited from being sold. Even though the country says they encourage freedom of religious belief, the government views religion as a major threat to the livelihood of its people. Many North Koreans have been tortured for practicing their religions and customs, and others have been sent to prison camps simply for owning a Bible. Music For most kids, as long as they can save up enough money, they're able to see their favorite singers 
performing concert. Most musical acts go on world tours across the globe to perform their hit songs in front of their adoring fans. But one country where most musical acts will never perform is in North Korea. The government has strong censorship rules when it comes to entertainment, and surprisingly, foreign songs as well as local music have been banned. So not only are the citizens missing out on live concerts, but they're breaking the law by purchasing and listening to any music that isn't pre-approved. If anyone's found in possession of a CD from an artist on the banned list, the music is immediately destroyed. iPad If you can't live without your tablet, you definitely wouldn't be able to survive in this country. Many electronics by various brands including Apple and Sony aren't sold in North Korea at all. Whenever a new Apple product is released, the brand ships it out to various countries to get ready for the big launch. But North Korea isn't one of the countries on that list because Apple products from the US are prohibited according to the company's global trade compliance. Even though the people of North Korea can't legally get their hands on a new iPad or an iPhone, their leader is free to do what he pleases. Ironically enough, he was able to get his hands on a MacBook judging by this photograph that was released to the press. Real Estate in most countries, private builders work together to build homes, apartment complexes, townhouses, and condominiums. After these dwellings are built, they're either sold or rented out to whoever can afford them. But in North Korea, the construction company works a lot differently. The construction of houses and apartments is handled entirely by the army, and some apartment complexes are built specifically for the nation's top athletes and military veterans. But instead of purchasing this real estate, North Koreans are forced to trade their properties with each other instead. Owning private properties forbidden, but citizens are free to swap homes with other residents. Home ownership is a dream to most people, but North Koreans will never know what it feels like to own a place that's truly theirs. Wi-Fi The internet is something that's heavily monitored throughout the country, and the only people who have access to it is Kim Jong-un. Political leaders and their families, the military cyber warfare department, and students at the country's elite universities. If a citizen wanted to gain access to the internet, they wouldn't be able to do so even if they tried. Wi-Fi has been banned in most areas, and many Wi-Fi-enabled products are disabled before they can touch the citizens' hands. The government makes sure that North Koreans aren't able to gain access to the internet and potentially come in contact with foreign websites that might shed light on how different their lives are from the rest of the world. Starbucks when this photo of a person holding a Starbucks cup in front of former leader Kim Jong-il's photo was released, many were shocked that the popular coffee shop was actually operating in North Korea. Well, come to find out, the Starbucks cup was brought into the country by a foreigner who purchased it from China. This makes sense, especially since there aren't any Starbucks shops in North Korea at all. For many years, residents were forced to drink instant coffee when they needed to get their caffeine fix. But in recent years, small European-style cafes that sell coffee have popped up in in the capital city. Their version of coffee is no Starbucks, but news reports claim the North Koreans just can't get enough of it. They even paid top dollar to get their hands on a regular cup of joe. Healthcare there's a reason why the country's citizens aren't able to buy their own health insurance. Can you guess why? Well, it's because North Korea claims to have free health care for all of its residents and maternal care for pregnant mothers. But the health care system is flawed, and the system has collapsed in recent years. The country isn't able to provide sterilized needles, clean water, food, or medicine to hospital patients. They also don't have any form of painkillers, so many patients are forced to undergo surgery without any anesthesia. North Koreans face many ailments due to their poor diet and the lack of food. Since their immune systems are much weaker, it results in various health problems being left untreated, like the countrywide malnutrition epidemic. Gaining access to treatments that could save their lives comes at a cost, and many North Koreans just can't afford the high price. Fertilizer in most cities across the globe, you can buy fertilizer at any home goods store. But this is something that's not possible in North Korea. After all the sanctions in the various countries that refuse to send their goods and products into the country, their farmland has suffered from the lack of fertilizer. In 2008, South Korea stopped their annual shipments of fertilizer into the country. But a charity group later decided to send 15 tons of it into the country to help with the food shortage and famine. But to this day, fertilizer is still very scarce and hard to come by, which affects the country's ability to produce their own crops. Cable TV Adding HBO or Showtime to your existing cable plan is as easy as calling up your provider and requesting the service. But in North Korea, there's no such thing as cable. Every single television in the country is controlled by the government. North Korea's TV channel begins around 3 p.m. It starts off by giving the details on their leader's recent movements. Then there are reruns of state-approved propaganda and documentaries and news broadcasts. Then for the rest of the day, the TV station plays state-approved music. As we're sure you can imagine, watching TV in North Korea can become repetitive 
repetitive and pretty boring. Without any type of variety, the people of the country are forced to find other ways to keep themselves entertained. DVD Player In the early 2000s, everyone in North Korea couldn't wait to get their hands on an illegal DVD player. So smugglers from China would sneak in the video players and sell them for cheap on the black market. Soon enough, the government caught on to what was going on. The authorities started going door to door to small villages to disable and sometimes destroy the DVD players. They thought this was the right thing to do to keep its citizens in control by limiting the type of information they're exposed to from the outside world. So even though buying a DVD player and watching a movie is no big deal in other parts of the world, it's a major no-no in North Korea. Medicine We already know the healthcare system is flawed, but finding medicine at a local store is just as bad. A North Korean woman reported that when she suffers from her monthly menstrual cramps, she has to just suck it up and deal with the pain since pills such as aspirin aren't readily available. North Korean doctors talk about aspirin like it's the cure for every ailment, so you can just imagine how desperate many of the people are to get their hands on some. China noticed there was a demand for the pain pill, so they began selling fake aspirin in the markets. The product doesn't have any packaging, and it's too expensive for most people to purchase. Tough sanctions have kept a lot of medicine from entering the country, and the people of North Korea are the ones who suffer. Jeans if you wear jeans almost every day of the week, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Jeans are a staple wardrobe item that can be found in most people's closets, except for the people of North Korea. Their leader has strict rules about the way they must style their hair, so it's only right that he make rules about what they're allowed to wear as well. The country's fashion police forbids any clothing that's seen as too foreign, and yes, jeans are one of those forbidden items. Can you imagine what it would be like to live your entire life without wearing your favorite pair of skinny jeans? Yeah, neither can we cigarettes in some restaurants across the world, smoking is banned to protect non-smokers from the harmful and dangerous fumes. But in North Korea, smoking was banned to protect one person and one person only, their former leader, Kim Jong-il. With his health on the decline, the government imposed a smoking ban back in 2007 so that he wouldn't come in contact with secondhand smoke. After he passed away and his son, Kim Jong-un, took over, the smoking ban remained in place. However, as we already know, Kim Jong-un plays by his own rules. Although the citizens aren't allowed to smoke, he has been frequently photographed with a cigarette in his hand. Sanitary Napkins Before a girl starts her first menstrual cycle, she's usually taught the basics about sanitary napkins. But in North Korea, they don't have the same type of products that are available in other areas of the world. One college student said none of her fellow students had access to sanitary napkins in the university's dormitories. Instead, the young girls would head out to the local market and purchase cotton rags to make their own maxi pads. Every night, they would line up in the bathrooms to wash out the cotton and reuse it on the next day. North Korea produces its own brand of sanitary products, but they're so expensive that most women can't even afford to purchase them every month. So it's much easier for them to get their DIY on and make some of their own. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to react in the comments section below. And don't forget to check out our friends at The Trendy to see more cool videos for teenagers.